little devil, you. <laughs> we'll put that over here. You little devil. Well, hello once again, Web Travelers. Two movies in one day. This is your old pal Link Digger from CringeFringe.com and then Steve of the Desert Wasteland on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, I know. Long names in different places. Uh, so I'm here with my cat and I thought I'd do another movie to thank you guys who donated to help me pay that stupid domain name um, bill that came up for 24 clams. I, it came unexpectedly. Let me have a sip of my fresh coffee. I just made it. Mm. Nice and strong. Four rounded tablespoons to the notch between six and eight on the drip coffee maker. No, I don't have a Kerrig. I refuse to get those little... I like this better. I like to measure my coffee. Mmm. It's strong. It's good. I need the, I need the caffeine because somehow it seems to help. Um... Anyway, you know, in the last movie, I, I look pretty bad and pretty sick. I put my hat on to cover up my messy hair. But I want to thank you guys, though, for helping me. I really appreciate it. That bill came. I pay the, the monthly website hosting fee every month. And then I just happened to go to the hosting company just to make sure my payment went through. And I found that bill. And they will cut the site off if you don't pay by their due date. They are known for that. They'll just cut you off. They, you know, because I, I tried to reason with them one time. I, I said, well, look, you know, my money comes on this date and can you bill it then? And they, they just, they, you know, a whole big problem. They just didn't want to cooperate, you know. Oh my God, look at her. <laughs> you want to play, don't you, you little devil? So anyway, I, you know, the bill came unexpected, and it's like, I don't have, look, when you live on Social Security, you don't, you don't have, they, I mean, I only get like, you know, I get like 1500 a month, okay, fine. You pay the rent, you pay the car insurance, you pay the cable TV, you pay the, the internet bill, you pay the power company, and, the, you know, uh, and then the groceries are really high, and then I owe payday loans, so they're taking money out. So I have like maybe a hundred or two hundred left for the whole month, and then I have to go to cheap stores like Grocery Outlet and buy you know cheap ass stuff. You know, well like tonight, I ate two hot dogs and a peanut butter sandwich for my dinner tonight because I've I've been feeling so bad. I you know, I just don't want to cook anything. There's there's stuff in the freezer. I've got salmon frozen, but it's not the greatest. And then there's a big chicken in there. I don't know. That's about it. And a loaf of bread. In any event, I I run out of money. And then this bill comes, you know. And and my like my website is my pastime. You know, it's something to do. To, you know, it's fun, and to, and it's something to do to kill time, too, you know, especially if I'm... I can fixate on finding stuff to put on there and not think about my pain. And uh, now you just lay down. Stop now. You're getting rough. This this right here on the chicken keychain... Um, oh, boy. The heating pad. I've got the heating... See, here's the heating pad thing, see? i got to turn it down. I got it going on my back for my arthritis. Anyway, on the keychain, um, this is pepper spray right here. So that's why I don't want her really. Well, she can't set it off because look what I. What, God damn, it's hard to do it with the camera in my hand. See, that's pepper spray. See that little can there? Here, let me see if I can pull it out for you. It's on lock, it won't spray. See, that's pepper spray, and I keep it on. I keep it on my keychain in case I encounter a fucktard that wants to give me a hard time or something. They'll get it right in the face. If they try to assault me or or, or assault me. They're gonna get squirted. Um, I've never had the opportunity to squirt anybody, but there's a lot of crime in the parks and stuff here. You can't really. You're not really safe, even in broad daylight. 
anymore. There's a lot of, you know, I hate to be, sound like a pessimist and a cynic, but there are a lot of nuts out, and you got to be careful. You got to carry your, you know, have some pepper spray in your pocket. I'm not a big guy, so I'm not a, you know, a fighter type. I really can't subdue a six foot person. Um, this is a whistle. Hmm? Whistle, let's see. That really freaks her out. Look at that. It's him too. They get they get spooked by the whistle, but I carry those things with me just in case. Uh, and then I can you know I can subdue them and stuff and get away and things. So you have to. Anymore in this world today, you got to be careful. I somehow got off track, but anyway, so that's the video today. Thanks for helping. Um, I won't. I can't say the names of the people because you know it'll be, it's private and. There are a lot of creepy stalkers and stuff, so but it's uh, three guys that are my friends that have been coming to the website for a long time, and they're very nice guys and very helpful and understand what I am going through. Man, this is a nightmare. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll try to manage things better, though, so I won't put any more begs on there. I think I got everything under control, but uh, but yeah, that comes once a year, unexpectedly, I didn't know, every October. You know, when you have a website online, you have to pay an annual fee for it, and that's what the bill is, and uh, you got to pay it, because if you don't, they just cut the domain off, and then boom, there goes all my stuff and everything. You know, I could have them, I don't know. Put it back on but it's a big it's a big hassle so it's you know i just i had two dollars in the bank i've got two dollars in the bank i just can't pay that so but thanks for helping me and uh thanks for watching this rambling video i don't know i never know what to do when i make a video you know i mean just bring you inside my room and and everything you know and let you see how i live and hear me talk Instead of this weird guy on the internet posting weird links, you know. I'm a real person. I am. And, and I really have fun with all those websites that I've made over the years. I, it's just a daily thing. I have fun with it. Mm. God damn, that's good. Here, look. Take a look. See how dark it is in my, in my favorite cup. This is heavy. This is a very well-made cup. Very, It's heavy. And it's got white lining and uh, paint in the, you know, it's just great. I love drinking coffee from this cup. Mm. Really good, really good, man. So, uh, anyway, what I'm going to do now, now that I don't have to worry about the website, that's some stress off of me. I've been worrying about it every day. And uh, I don't want to go and get any payday loans and stuff. And I just, I mean, I owe people money and, and I just can't do it, you know. I gotta pay these people off so I can have some money for Christmas. How am I gonna get, buy a, I, you know, a little turkey or something? You know, I mean, I just can't go without. That's why I'm, I'm just kind of waiting it out, paying off the bills, and going without, you know, until everybody's paid and I'm fine again. It's it's really miserable, but I'm okay with it. I can work it, you know. Yeah, when it, you, you get as old as I am, you kind of. You know how to work it a little bit, the system. Look at that beautiful cat. Look how big he is. Oh, man, is he ever... And you have to pick him up with two arms. You see a ghost? She doesn't, though. Look how beautiful those cats are. They're just really just um, alley cats, really. But I love them, and they're 10 years old, and... and uh, they're my companions. They're my friends, really. Although they can't talk to me or do anything for me, but just me loving on them is enough. I have, I have an outlet to give emotions to since I live alone. I don't have a wife or a husband or a partner or whatever you want to call it, you know. So I, I don't have anyone to 
to get to be emotional with. So I grab a cat, squeeze it, hug it, and kiss it, and talk silly to it, and that makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I'm alive still. I'm not a, a ghost living in, in this world, paying bills off and being sick and miserable. You know, I feel alive when I have my pets to think about and worry about. That's the good thing when you're not feeling good and stuff and you have you know your pets and everything you, you've got something to think about you know and an outlet so it's it really is emotionally helpful so don't let anybody tell you any different you just trust your old pal from the internet oh I know everything <laughs> okay man thank you very much for helping me and I'll find some really weird stuff to put on there and and keep on going until I croak. Hey, you know, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep going with this, and and you know, until there isn't any more. Okay, so thanks again for helping me, and and uh, man, I really appreciate it. I really do. Thank you, and have a good weekend. Ciao.